though, for folks just tuning in who maybe aren't New York locals. Uh, we're talking about Gluto, as in Glutamate, the local Sora, not Gluto, the European warrior. Not the winner of Terra, Terra so... <laughs> First of all, congrats to, to Gluto. I like my go. I love Gluto so much. But any, I love him so much. He's my favorite top player for a long time. Honestly, so that's a really good pick. Won. I love him. He's also like, adorable, so that helps. If you're like slightly cute, you're my favorite top player You ever. know who else is adorable, though? King! Squirtle. Oh. Yeah, that. <laughs> we'll, we'll go That's with that. my as, friend. You know what's not adorable? All my though? friends I are adorable. Sort of down air, air, no. which King has been using to put so, in work here at the ledge. Me and King have been talking about this. He plays Ivysaur the way that Ivysaur should kind of be played, where you go for those approaches, you go for that down air off stage. Even if it's against someone like Sora who has a really good recovery options, Ooh, you just cool. do it and it works. However, King sometimes falls into this trap of over commitment, finding a beautiful razor or leaf up. Vine Whip conversion there, but right before just over swinging on the full commit down air, expecting a little bit maybe more levels from Helper than Helper was actually giving him. I just want to let you know, King has fought like three Sora's today, including Helper. So I, I think he also up. has the matchup in his soul, ready to go, rearing to just get this win on the board. 100% on the board for King right now. All three socks at our disposal, and we're keeping like Helper off stage so often now. Only now has Helper been able to actually get in a nice advantageous situation with the positioning, and then it's reversed again, Ritual. And I like that you mentioned how often Helper's been off stage, right? Normally that's a place of advantage for Sora. That's where he wants to be, the pressure he wants to be applying, but here, here it's been the bane of Helper's existence, not able to find a single opening and as King has just locked down the defense and we're seeing even very fundamental mistakes from helpers such as the miss tech that's set up into the double spike gonna have one more chance to make it back and going to do so missing the timing on the third time with the other two are perfect and you're able to get a two frame boom bam bop it is completely doable for King Eve regardless of the fresh you have to play with and helper at 99% you are a light as Sora and if Honestly, if King gets his edge guard once more with that down with, the, with those multiple down airs, it should pretty much be an easy two to one lead. But until we get there, it's, in, it's Sora City right now. And I was gonna say until we get there, that momentum is shifting fast. Helper now with the first real advantage, state resetting to neutral, getting pressure to the corner, and it's King's turn finally again. Something we thought we'd never say a moment ago, but there's another opening from Helper applying the pressure and forcing the ledge situation off. All right, forcing out the Bozaga to get the Fireaga on deck to get that edge guard, and it ends beautifully with the Thundaga. Love the research management from Helper in that whole situation. Just you know, the, the awareness of what spell you have at that moment and when you're going to need it to finish out that edge guard. Beautiful stuff from Helper. Should be getting, oh, I was going to say, could get some extra credit, but with Charizard's big body and, you know, just being Charizard gets a kill. Yep, and I, I think King's Charizard actually is one of... Is, is his strong uh, his Pokemon sometimes. Like, he is so confident with that character, even more than he is with the rest of his Pokemon trainer. And so it uh, lines up some very explosive moments. The Squirtle, though, not able to get the explosiveness that he's known for going, and just having to rely on a couple chips gets you to the corner, though, and is able to finally slip Tiger Sword. And there's that Nair into the up B kill. Not gonna get the kill quite yet. Excellent DI on Helper's part as well, as uh, due to low percentage right there. But trying to get it again down throw this time into the up B. That's a very scary to confirm to have. Blizzaga gonna be freezing him out. And that match, and that match out of the Blizzaga was crazy. Just like the back air Vine Whip. Yep. Uh, third time's a charm. Three Vine Whips coming out too. Ma, you are on an absolute point right now. Because I, I was saying this on the stream earlier, you know, because me and King are you know, very, very good friends, very good friends. And I was like, I cannot wait for you to see, to see your downfall. <laughs> and he clearly wants it because he's not downfalling. He's doing so well today. Pokemon trainer. And the story of the game so far, right, or the set so far, this game one has really been who's thriving at ledge, right? You expect to see Helper, or a play, you know, not just piloting Sora at ledge, but a player himself so good in that si those situations and to really be the one dominating. But King has locked it down for us every single interaction in his favor. Or Helper, though, with some good up DI there, so there's going to be no chance for Squirtle to get that early stock trade scenario, something that would have an effect on Helper's mental up 1-0. However, once again, they can't get off the ledge. All right, King got a little bit too greedy there, trying to get the low, uh, the low kill. But again, so we're able to come back to stage relatively for free, but un not unscathed. As we see that, seventy-five percent only climbing as Helper tries to get that Thundaga landing, but beautiful maneuvering away from that by King. And I like that forward air fastball there, finding the auto cancel window, and so able to act a little bit sooner. Keep Helper guessing, and the F smash 
not to two frame as you might expect, but to call out the jump. King with a beautiful little read to find the early stock lead, but Helper answering right back with one of his own and keeping this at possibly close. He's in a good position to close this one back out even. All right, nice punish on the up B with the up air, and then Rapid Jab gonna be coming in. I never see that move ever in my life. Jab one two three nine me enough to connect, but we're gonna do it once more, and there we go. This time, second time's a charm ritual. Absolutely. Hey, Helper's improving on those numbers, right? This is like golf. The lower your score, the better when it comes to the amount of tries you have. But the question is, how many is it going to take Helper to get off ledge? This time, King just missing the parry on Blazaga. That move like Chung Lee's kicks and Street Fighter Third Strike. Very hard to get locked down. And Helper able to reset the neutral, at least for the second for his troubles. But now you got to deal with Ivy at the ledge ball. And you see how dominating it is, you know, the down throw into the upbeat. Yes, absolutely. Give me a kick tonight once more, threatening the raise lead, threatening the down air as well, forcing that, uh, you know, Helper to come in, come in and try to recover as away from that down air as possible. Thankfully helped by the force horizontal of the Sonic Blade. Now, we're back on the stage, on the ledge, on the other side. What do we do here, Ritual? Well, ah, why? I love the platform usage from King. It's really been the X Factor, even though Helper ready for the option afterwards there. It's been King's X Factor in terms of their two of their answers to ledge trapping, right? King has been so much better at utilizing platform to give himself extra mix-up out of those disadvantaged state situations. And, you know, this time getting trapped in that em empty center space, and that's where Helper is starting to find those damage. That's where he's finding these combos. And that's also where King is kind of folding as well. Going Charizard, you always want to go Charizard to get that final kill, get that raw kill power as well, and just, you know, be a little bit heavier, and that's, that's viability. Finally find the F to find the kill, but you you wasted 70% of your own life for that. And you have to swap to Squirtle, right? One of the lightest characters in the game, which puts you back in kill percent, but at the same time, unless Sora gets a drag down just like this, that could have been the game, but you are forced to reset the neutral, a situation where King is betting on himself to just outplay Helper. Now though, he has to find his way once again off this epitomous ledge for the set. Down tilt though in neutral, something you don't see from Ivysaur every day, and King is trying to find a way to close it out, but it's gonna be Helper giving himself a shot, but not gonna do it just yet. It's getting a little bit scary out here for Protagonist right now as King is at 140% counting. Helper, although, you know, Sora is light, you can see that for as long as you can, but once you get that to that nice 60-70% is only when Ivysaur can actually become a threat and Charizard by extension. You see, Ooh, I, no, you're good, yeah. You, you see that King was trying to be a little more safe, but Sora. I was going to say, I really like that. I like that we saw King being more safer change. In, but as we get into the game, beautiful grab mix up off the Razor Leaf. We haven't seen that from King so far in the set, but pulling out just one there. We'll see if Helper keeps that one logged in the bank, and if he goes back to it. We saw King try to do it a second time, but that time to no avail, so something we might see a little less often. There you go, well said. Now we got a game here in our hands, and... I was trying to look at the screen to see if I could see the stage bands, but... Regardless, we might be going right back to um, Small Battlefield. I would not be surprised if so. I would love to see a Kalos or PS2, but like I said, going right back to Small Battlefield. It's New York City. What did you expect? PS2. <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel like every time I'm here, I see mostly Small Battlefield. At least at Xeno. At uh, Xeno, we, we've evolved. <laughs> at Xeno, at Xeno, we pick Small Battlefield. We have evolved to Small Battlefield. And now, this is what I was worried about in game number three, Mott, which is that King started off so strong in game one, but now just isn't playing with that same level of confidence. And we're seeing a very even game out of the bat. The question is going to be, though, how can King can do it at the ledge game? Can he continue to dominate, or is Helper going to find mix-ups just like there with the counter to find his way back to stage? King may be able to reset? No. It's these constant counters and these reflectors of the Razor Leaf that's kind of putting a soil in King's plans. And what has he done? Well, he, now he's just kind of reduced reduce the use of Razor Leaf uh, at helper. long distance and has to force out the Charizard right now, waiting patiently, but not waiting part? for the Blizzaga. Yes. That's insane, Mom. Yeah. Uh, now that the Charizard's out, and Helper, don't you know that Charizard's a fire type? That fireball's not going to be so effective. If Closing out the stock, King going up, finding the first one in this all-important game three. Mop, this is losers. Even with a Zeno as small as this one, I mean, we're still pretty stacked here. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, the hard hitters are, are literally helped themselves, you know. Such such great players help her, you know, on PR for a reason as well. And nothing to scoff as you get the beautiful scoop of the up B, securing that first hook off of King. And only 36%, super duper doable for someone like Sora to just continue that onslaught, especially as we fight that Squirtle, that slow, that not slow, that light moving character, and get a nice clean even percent. Look and at this. I was gonna say, you're talking about doable. We're right back to even mm -hmm. just exactly. like that. 60%. It'll combo a little bit of, pl of a platform tech chase for some good measure. Helper showing you a little bit of that, fo of that Fox game plan for just a moment. But unable without that counter to find his way off ledge. He really has had the one answer that side special too, giving him some timing mix ups with the disjoint to find a way to get a little reversal, but not able to capitalize Mott. And Helper needs in a game three situation to clean up his ledge play. Oh, I really wish we hadn't gone for the, you know, for jumping back into down air was not going to be enough after that missed forward smash from Helper. But either regardless, still keeping at least some life on both players, and if anything could really happen at 101% for Helper. Your Captain of Sonic Blade, 1, 2, and 3, back on the stage, safe as possible. Gain a Thundaga as a result of that repositioning. And now Helper is pumped up. Yeah, Helper's pumped up. King, you know, lean back, scratched his elbow, side. Definitely a little bit frustrated there. there. And the question is gonna be how can he maintain his patience? King is a player that when he starts to get frustrated can go down to the count, but the seismic toss not gonna do it just yet. One more chance for Helper to get some extra credit here. 5% is not a whole lot of anything, Mott. Can he make it happen? I definitely believe in the Charizard here, especially being the heavier uh, the heavier character of the three characters you have at your disposal. Sora has to be super careful being the lighter of the two by a whole margin, right? So, Helper, doing a beautiful job at keeping all this extra credit. Looks at almost 70% on the board. You're at 150, pretty much, and you're only continuing that onslaught. It only gets harder and harder for Kane to make it back as we get these Nair Loops as well. I was surprised Helper went for the down tilt there, looking for big money, and just there to close it out there with down tilt instead of the up air for a little bit more percent the juggle or the up tilt for the juggle situation. And we'll see if that comes back to bite Helper because he's given up stage control for his trouble. Well, King at too high a percent for that confirm there, and this is the scary range for Sora, right? He has to find raw confirms, or he has to find these drag downs. Has to find the edge guards. He can't just rely on those confirms from center stage that really gives this character the X factor he needs. Oh, that's huge, e enormous back throw right here. Is this good momentum for Kin to hold continue on, on? Hold on. This could go either way. We got to charge our first survivability. We get the other fall right out of it. Charge our humongous. Are you serious right now? How did he fall out of it that big? Oh, he had the flare back ah! with the left! Ah! The F are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Ah! <laughs> Helper, Helper is pissed. He has had enough of it. He is done with this game, mod. Oh my wow. god. Charge our tail go bear. <laughs> <laughs> what did we just watch? Charge are so good. Charge like are so good. Look at this. All right, this is... Uh, irrelevant stocks. Irrelevant stocks. The only relevant stock like, is the last stock, but we'll like, see right like, here. Look how close to the, this fireball <laughs> was to hitting. I just, I just want to point this out. Like, it's so insane. The fire... It's because, unlike Mewtwo... Unlike Mewtwo... Oh, it, it did not jump back. I was going to say, unlike Mewtwo... Charizard uh, doesn't get hit on the entirety of his tail. Doesn't yep. get hit on most of it, in fact. And so that fireball able to sneak right on through. We'll see the, we'll see the last thought coming in real soon as we get into our next match soon. Uh, King versus Fawn. Hype set. King in top four. Good for you, bestie. Yeah, and I mean, he's going on quite a run, really cleaning up some of... You know, a lot of aspects of his play in terms of patience, oh, is, but also at the ledge trap. Like, here it is, here it is. the whiff grab, the jump, finding the late hit neutral air. This can actually be, because you find the auto cancel if you watch the frames here. Watch King. He's actionable already, right? He can flare blitz here. And Helper, watch when Helper is actionable out of hit stun. He, he can find a flare blitz there. It would be and really funny close it out on the DI in. The counter getting blocked out by the ledge huh? as well. Nah, we gotta go back frame by frame like, real fast. I was gonna say, like, watch this. Right there, Look right there. Look at how... Look at that. Look at that. Look at how close my this man, is. My man, it's Ma not even close. It's literally on him. I know, but watch. It's so good. I was gonna say, look at... It's a spot dodge. He... Or it's an F tilt on the counter. He and he hits a hurt box shift back. Yeah. Sorry, it wasn't a spot dodge. I can't speak the English language. No, to, to be completely fair, in the middle of the replay, it looked like he was spot yeah. dodging. But, but 